in this topic we are going to discuss a case study on what we are already discussing in the previous topics uh, we are talking about the issue of ethics in um, human resource management um, and uh, we have talked about the issues of bribery and corruption and how various uh, bodies like united nations the oecd the transparency international have made laws and regulations to control the these problems of bribery and corruption in management in organizations and overall in the international environment uh this topic is it pertains to a particular case of how ethical issues can develop in an organization and uh, the repercussions and then uh, the uh, results that the organization has to face from such kind of issues uh, that is going to be discussed in this particular case this case is about an international organization you must have heard the name of that company that is siemens Siemens is a German conglomerate uh, at the time of this incident which happened from 2004 to 2010 the incidents the that that was caught in 2004 it took about 5 6 years to actually achieve and uh, uh, to come to a decision about that case it was about uh, problems transactions if um, incidences of bribery and corruption of over of over past two decades and uh, at that time when this case was caught um, uh, the company operated in about 190 co countries of the world uh, that case was first made public in 2006 and allegations were that uh, the company had siphoned uh, more than 200 million euros out of secret bank accounts in uh, liechtenstein austria and switzerland uh, so you know that uh, switzerland is known for having uh, high privacy bank accounts in which uh, the information about the account holders and the about the transactions taking place in the account they are not given to anybody and they have a high level of privacy about banking and so swiss accounts are known for such kind of dealings in which the money comes from unknown sources and then it goes from out uh, to uh, unknown sources as well uh, so siphon ka matlab ye hai ke siphon aapko pata hai ke Uh, uh something comes and then it is siphoned and then it goes out so what happens in the siphon nobody knows ke usme kya hota hai uh so the money was siphoned it came into swiss account and then it went somewhere aur pata ye laga ke jo paisa hai wo siemens ki company se aaya hai aur wahan se kuch logon ko transfer kiya gaya hai jo ke unknown uh, payments hain aur in transactions ka koi Uh, जो है वो अता पता नहीं मिल रहा था उनके अकाउंट्स में से सो ऑल दो ये कि स्विस अकाउंट्स तो इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं देते लेकिन कंपनीज दे आर सपोज टू डिस दे आर दे आर सपोज टू डिस्क्लोज इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दे आर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन वेयर दे आर गोइंग वेयर द मनी इज कमिंग फ्राम एंड वेयर इट इज गोइंग सो दैट वॉज समथिंग विच वॉज आन क्लियर सो द पर्पज ऑफ दीज a uh, murky dealings uh, was uh, it, it is still un unclear that why these dealings were taking place uh, why this money was being paid from one company to different people in austria switzerland uh, through austria switzerland and liechtenstein uh, either it was self enrichment by crooked employees uh, employees jo the wo apne aap ko khud enrich karna chahte the aur ye bhi iske andar ek uh, कंस्परेसी जो है वो सामने आई थी कि सीमेंस जो है वो जो मुख्तलिफ कंट्रीज़ हैं वहाँ पे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स लेने के लिए लोगों को ब्राइब करते उनको वहाँ पे रिश्वत देते थे इस तरीके से सो ये भी उनके ऊपर एलिगेशन आया सो इट वॉज केयरफुली लॉन्डर्ड ब्राइब टू विन बिजनेस इन कंट्रीज दैट सीमेंस ऑपरेटेड सो इट वॉज नॉट इट वॉज नॉट क्लियर how and why these payments were made 
and uh, the case was caught in 2004 and then uh, made public in 2006 uh, there were a lot of then uh, when this case was caught then uh, the german uh, and german uh, authorities and american authorities in washington dc and in germany they raided their offices and uh, a number of people were arrested uh, six of its present and former employees including one former board member were taken in custody and about 30 officers they were raided by the authorities in america and germany uh, the dealings of uh, um, uh, siemens was getting already um, under suspicion because transparency international which is you know i had introduced in the last topic uh, that it is a independent firm which analyzes the uh, the transparency of various countries as well as different uh, organizations so transparency international has suspended membership of their german chapter in 2004 because they had made a transaction in italy uh, and uh, it was a bribery case which was uh, which they were not ready to disclose and they did not take quick action about uh, explaining what happened in that transaction so uh, transparency international had their membership jo thi, wo germany chapter ki cancel kar di thi. and they had also given them a uh, notice that if they do not uh, uh, give a prompt reaction uh, Transparency International will cancel, will terminate the membership if they did not pursue the case actively. Uh, Siemens, because after this case was caught and then it was made public, then Siemens, they, uh, they came into action and they took some uh, steps to show that they are ready to take some measures regarding the issues of bribery and corruption. So what they did was that they immediately uh, formed a task force to clarify and standardize its employees' business practices. Uh, they appointed an ombudsman to encourage internal whistleblowing. So they made an ombudsman office, Motasib, which we call it. And in their company, they made an ombudsman office, which uh, they thought that internal whistleblowing, that yani internally people who don't tell that they have done corruption, or they have done rishwatli, or they have done unethical practice, jo hai, wo ki hai. because uh, unethical practices are not a responsibility on you to tell that they have done corruption or bribery. It is only ethically correct and incorrect behavior that you have to tell them. So, to encourage this thing, they have a motorcycle ka office. Jo tha, wo, Apne company mein establish kiya. Then they appointed a law firm to investigate the company's compliance and uh, control systems, so an external firm. Uh, it also appointed Michael Hirschman, uh, which was one of the former uh, founder members of uh, Transparency International, and they give it, try to give it a nice look that they have uh, appointed somebody from Transparency International to look into their issues so to review anti-corruption controls and training at Siemens so they appointed Michael Hirschman this was again something which was looked at um, and eyed as a suspicious act that somebody who is evaluating their transparency is actually hired in the company to uh, develop so that means they were trying to De uh, to develop some kind of uh, you know underground relationship with Transparency International ke unka ek bade top level founder member ke saath taalukat ban jayen to wo un taalukat ko istamal karke to apni transparency ko kisi tarah se so this was again eyed as a probably non uh, not very ethical act to do Siemens therefore defended that uh, most of their cases were before 1999 when the OACD convention passed the law about bribery so they ne ye apne aap ko defend karne ke liye kaha ke unke jo zyada tar cases hain jinke bare mein baat ki gayi hai jinke bare mein issue create hua hai wo 1999 se pehle ke hain aur 1999 se pehle jo hai wo OACD 
लॉ पास नहीं हुआ था जिसमें ब्राइबरी के बारे में और एंटी करप्शन के बारे में गाइडलाइंस और रूल्स जो थे वो एक्सेप्ट किए गए थे आ, उसके अलावा उन्होंने जो है वो लेकिन जो उनका 2004 का केस था वो 1990 के बाद का 99 के बाद का ही है जो कि इटली में ब्राइबरी का केस था और एक और केस उनका टू में जो है वो इशू बना था जो कि उन्होंने ग्रीस में ओलंपिक्स के अंदर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लेने के लिए पता चला था कि उन्होंने ब्राइबरी का इस्तेमाल किया है सो so, ये दोनों केसेस जो थे ये uh, 1999 के कन्वेंशन के बाद के केसेस थे सो uh, so, ये सब जो इशू क्रिएट हुआ इससे सीमेंस uh, uh, की रेपटेशन uh, को बहुत बड़ा धचका लगा इसके रिप्रकाशन क्या हुए इसके रिप्रकाशन एक तो ये कि ये कहा गया कि अगर इवन इफ इट वाज नॉट कन्वेंस और ब्राइबरी इवन देन हैविंग पुअर सुपरविजन एंड कंट्रोल वाज बैड इनफ सो इफ यू आर मैनेजिंग एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू आर एन इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच इज ऑपरेटिंग इन मोर देन 190 कंट्रीज एंड यू हैव अ बैड मैनेजमेंट एंड कंट्रोल सिस्टम इवन इफ यू आर नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन ब्राइबरी एंड कन्वेंस Uh, even then if your control mechanisms are not in place they are not proper even that is bad enough so you're not a good company that is the that is what the the kind of impression which was created so that was the repercussion ke inse to control hi nahi hota uh then it was noted that henrik uh, von perer which was the ceo in 1990s and he still heads the supervisory board uh he was supposed to steer the company through its transition to oecd anti bribery rules and compliance so uh the ceo who was heading the company in 1990s he was supposed to take the action he was supposed to be proactive uh that uh, because in 1999 to convention mein uh, laws or guidelines pass ho gaye lekin usse pehle bhi jo hain wo ek डेवलपमेंट um, तो हो रही थी सो so, उस डेवलपमेंट को सीईओ का काम ये होता है कि वो स्ट्रेटेजिक प्लानिंग करें वो स्ट्रेटेजिकली ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को जो अपकमिंग um, इश्यूज हैं जो इमर्जिंग लॉज और प्रैक्टिसेस हैं uh, उनके मुताबिक कंपनी को उस ट्रांजिशन uh, फेज के अंदर से लेकर चले सो so, ये कहा गया कि उनका जो सी था उसने ये काम नहीं किया उसको ये करना चाहिए था कि वो ऐसे सिस्टम्स uh, और कंट्रोल्स इस्टेब्लिश करता जो कि कंपनी को इस ट्रांजिशनल फेज में से सक्सेसफुली लेकर निकलते बजाय इसके कि 1999 भी गुजर गया और 2004 आ गया और फोर और फाइव में उनके केसेस पकड़े जा रहे इट मींस दैट दे वर नॉट टेकिंग द ड्यू एक्शन व्हिच वाज रिक्वायर्ड रिगार्डिंग एथिकल प्रैक्टिस इन इंटरनेशनल एरिना एंड सो द फाइनेंशियल repercussion that ended up uh, that the, that the company ended in was that in december 2008 us authorities they find a record 800 million dollars uh, to the company and the german authorities issued a fine of 395 million euros over the failure of its poor uh, uh, failure of its former board to fulfill its supervisory duty so the overall estimated total cost of this case uh, that was estimated to be 2.5 billion euros so you can well imagine that uh, this is something uh, when the issue of ethics comes up uh, of this corruption and these problems they come up they have huge repercussions for organizations and they can take them to uh, uh to bankruptcy to uh, they can uh, they can be an issue for their existence so you can you know that what siemens is one case then you would have heard about enron and xerox and if you have not heard about those cases you should go and read about them what happened in enron wo bhi isi tarah ke similar issue the about disclosure of, of uh, money and uh, payments and similarly xerox so uh, these were uh, uh, international level ke ye cases hain jiske andar ethics is the issue ke aap ke ird gird ke log jo hain wo corruption kar rahe hain aur corruption ek tarah ka company practice hai 
कि जी एक सौ नब्बे कम कंट्रीज़ में आप अप्रेट कर रहे हैं और वहाँ पे एक तरह की आपकी प्रैक्टिस है कि आपने लोगों को ब्राइव करके तो वहाँ से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स लेने हैं और ये आप समझते हैं कि ये एक ऐसा काम है जो कि करना ही पड़ेगा लेकिन जब वो सामने आता है तो आपके लिए वो इतना बड़ा इशू बन जाता है और इसी के अलावा इसके अलावा इंडिविजुअल्स के ख़िलाफ़ भी एक्शन लिए गए जब जर्मन अथॉरिटीज़ ने 2010 में उनके दो फॉर्मर मेंबर्स को दे वर गिवन सस्पेंडेड प्रेजेंट सेंटेंस एंड लार्ज फाइंस फॉर देयर रोल्स इन द करप्शन स्टैंडर्ड स्कैंडल सो इंडिविजुअल पर्सन दे वर आल्सो दे हैड टू बियर द ब्रांड ऑफ दिस केस सो सो दिस मींस दैट ऑल दो इट अपीयर्स टू बी इवन इफ समथिंग अपीयर्स टू बी अ प्रैक्टिस इवन इफ इट अपीयर्स दैट it is something which everybody does but uh, these unethical practices uh, bribery and corruption they when uh, agar to chalta rahe must to uh, that is something which will keep going but when a problem comes up uh, the lives of the individuals that also comes at stake and the life of the organization that also comes at stake so the organizations as well as individuals and the managers they must take into account that uh, whether they have to submit to practices of uh, of unethical uh, behaviors or they have to remain upright and protect their existence uh, even if it is at the cost of some reduced uh, profits or profitability or effectiveness even if it that happens uh, the managers they have to take into account this fact that any unethical practice when it comes up it becomes a huge issue for individuals as well as organizations